All right. Similar theming here. Different... Different subject matter, though. I wonder if anyone historically sent a crank call telegraph. Oh, you know it. Most definitely. Sega CD. The CD Sega. Okay. <sighs> this game requires 24 blocks of backup RAM. What does that mean? It's another Sony ImageSoft game. Should I be worried? Oh, hell yeah. Excited? Bangra? Bangra? Mary Shelley's Frank. How did you know? This game rules? How do you guys know? How do y'all know what it is before it's even started? Oh, it's another Cygnosis joint. This like James Bond ass intro here. They fired a lens flare at us. That's pretty dangerous. The title was on screen? It was? Cool music. Now that I've seen the Cygnosis logo, I'm kind of worried. <laughs> uh, this game must be good if it uses 24 blocks of RAM. You know, you're right. You might be right. You might be onto something there. <laughs> you're learning. I want to believe in Cygnosis. It's the sign of an insane game, but like... Like, Shadow of the Beast seemed like it was okay. Like, it's kind of fucked, but like, also it seemed like it was... it was playable. Shadow of the Beast seemed like a playable game. Mocha even managed to beat the PC Engine version. This can be both positive and negative. You just have to gamble. <laughs> the Cygnosis coin flip. Pignosis. What? Sega CD had like an internal memory card, and you could also save to a save cartridge, huh? Interesting. I mean, the Sega CD is like an entire console, basically, that the Mega Drive like snaps onto, right? Shadow of the Beast was only published like you suspected, uh... That would make sense. What is that? This game, I think I saw, had, like, fighting game segments, it almost looked like. Really just, like, look at this incredible 3D object with over 3,000 polygons. We used the most advanced silicon graphics workstation to make this all possible. The different Genesis, like, uh, add-on combinations crack you up. There's a pretty insane looking... If you got like the 32X with the CD. Frankenstein's famous steampunk sarcophagus. Yeah, we all know about this. It's like lovingly described in Mary Shelley's novel. Genuinely don't know how Cygnosis got Roger Dean for a bunch of stuff. Probably because his work looked like it was from the 70s and he needed money. Like, because probably not many people were paying for that in the 90s. I guess he probably still had the Yes contract, but, like, Yes was not exactly uh, super popular in the 90s. What is that? What is going on? What? You know, I think that something about this, the FMVs, they look almost like they're textiles or something. I'm realizing. It's something about the the color palette and like the, the graininess and the dithering. It like reminds me of like woven blankets or something. It's kind of cool. 
Thank you for the hydrate. XSC125. Roger Dean was promised to them as a baby in a Rumpelstiltskin type contract. Curling up under a blanket of Cygnosis. That would be quite cozy, I would imagine. How long is this gonna go on for? This is crazy. Frankenstein's bathtub here. His isolation chamber. His tanning bed. Right, let's, let's go. What's gonna happen? Why is this so long? Did they get paid by the megabyte? I, d I could not tell you, Benji. <laughs> then you don't even see anything. Frankenstein. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, to be exact. Alright. Yes, let's see. <laughs> Great logo. I'd like to play the game now. They were very proud of their weird deathbed. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, practice fights? Hey, pretty sick menu here. Oh! There goes 90% of the CD space. Uh, animations on or off? What would turning animations off even entail? CD music test. That's really loud. Uh, can I make that stop? Alright. This game is pretty loud in general, actually. Let me, t let me turn it down a little bit. <laughs> if anybody was asleep, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that Satsuki app or, uh, emote is quite good. Practice fights. I, I suppose. It sounds exciting to practice fights. Sega presents Cygnosis's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein's Monster. Whoa. Okay, C is block? Who is this? Mutant? Oh, fuck yeah! Alright. Oh man, we got special moves? This is fucking crazy! Holy shit! Oh yeah! We got the Yurian style headbutt. Oh yeah, yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> this game might be awesome. <laughs> what? Okay, that was it, I guess. I thought this was some FMV adventure. I, I mean, I think it's like an adventure game, but it also has like <laughs> fighting game segments for some reason. <laughs> Can't decide if this or the FMV platformer is a funnier adaptation of a gothic novel. I think they're both pretty equally funny, honestly. Uh, oh yeah, this happens in the book. Yeah, we all remember this. The part where Frankenstein did... Uh, Yurian's headbutt from Street Fighter 3 Third Strike on a mutant that was dripping blood everywhere. We all know this. Practice fights. Singular. <laughs> you practiced long enough. I guess the game decided that. Oh, beakers. I love beakers. Those all look so tasty. What is that? Oh, it's refraction. Practice combos and increase your style meter. Victor Frankenstein's Lab, Ingolstadt, February 1793. Okay, I turned off my fan. Jeez, that's really loud. Holy shit. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm gonna turn it down even more. Okay. 
So this is... We are Frankenstein. Uh, A seems to like access this thing at the top of the screen. Start just pauses. What is with these eels? Erg, electric eels. Okay, I got hurt by electric eels. Uh, wait, is that how this Frankenstein is powered? They put electric eels in him? This is crazy. Okay. I think I need to unlock this before I can go through. Alright. How do I do that? Frankenstein this monster. Kinda cool music, honestly. Is this still too loud? I like his sexy silk bathrobe. It does look very like flowing and silky, doesn't it? The forbidden Frankenstein juice. Victor Frankenstein imbues a dead body with the Satsui no Hato. I'd like to see that. Wait, what? Where are we going now? This music is sick as fuck. I guess that's another hazard there? My computer crashed during the long intro. I'm so glad this is what gameplay looks like after all of that. Yeah, there was also fighting game shit as well. Okay, there's bread. Okay, bread. It's still fresh. Bottle of Dissolve Away Acid with Corrosion Around the Rim. Yeah? Wait, did it say something on the bread? It says like Cory or something on it. Okay, we ate the bread and felt better. I'm so glad that we feel better. I can't believe how sick this music is. I like how when you press up near a wall, he just stops and just like mid animation. <laughs> he's filled with jelly eels. For a monster, he's got pretty bad posture. That's even worse. Music for <laughs> looking at bread. Cardio? Acid spray. The label says stand next to the target and depress the plunger. They have been dissolved by the acid. They won't trouble me now. Sure. We just dissolved the electric eels with a sprayer of acid. <laughs> well, thank you for the stretch, Koja. I think this game might be really good. I think this that we might be onto something here. That's why I saved it for last, because I was like... The Frankenstein game is definitely going to be the best. It's got to be, right? How could it not be? Wow! It's, it's Mutant. Alright, Mutant. We killed Mutant. What was that? Did he just bow? It's like, I respect you and your struggle against death at the hands of Frankenstein's monster. Sure. That was pretty awesome. I, I love that fighting. That is like absolutely incredible. Okay, I like how items chloroform sniff makes me feel sleepy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> makes me feel sleepy. Like, when you walk by an item, there's no, like, there's not a sound effect or anything. It just, it just shows it at the top of the screen. Is this still loud? It seems really goddamn loud. Oh, it makes me feel sleepy. <laughs> he bounds. So funny they have you play as the monster instead of Victor. I'm into it. I like it. <laughs> kind of loud? Okay, I'll turn it down a little bit more. It's so damn loud.
Victor's bedroom. Is that Victor? Please, help me. You speak. Yes, I speak and read and think and know the ways of man. I think not where this knowledge comes from, but I remember. Trace memories in the brain, perhaps? You are my creator. Why am I here? Oh god, what have I done? You are a vile abomination. Come on, then, that I may extinguish the spark that I so negligently bestowed. Uh-oh, we're gonna have to fight Victor Frankenstein now? Maybe we should have kept the acid sprayer. All right, Victor, you imbued me with an incredible headbutt technique. I really hope that you can deal with this. Oh shit, I'm dead. What? <laughs> this game is really something else. All right, we have full health now. <laughs> I think that the monster should have E Honda's headbutt. Music is pretty hype. Yes. <laughs> I'm smart. What the fuck? I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, I don't know what was with that interaction. We just killed Victor? Okay, Victor dead. <laughs> sure. Whatever you say, man. Uh <laughs> a big gold key with three loops at the top. Alright, I guess that must be for that door we saw. I like how this clock does not match anything in the room at all. Perfect! <laughs> wonder if there's a versus mode. I don't think so. There was like practice fights, but it was like single player. And yeah, Victor is already dead. I wonder if we could have used the chloroform on him or something. I don't know, I don't really care, particularly. He seemed like a real prick. Um, the best part is the monster driving Victor mad with guilt and anguish. <laughs> to Victor goes the dead. <laughs> uh, we use key. Okay. Wait, what? I was just showing the key. Alright. What is it? If we show this, chloroform. Alright. So, this music is so awesome. Oh, out in the town. Those people are just like animated sprites or something. Look at the low frame rate of their animation. It's pretty snazzy. Looking pretty good here. My god, you are a vile abomination. So funny he wants to fist fight you to death in fear of what he created. He just instantly attacks you, even though you're like intelligent. Town of Ingolstadt, Germany, February 1793. I thought we already saw this. This music is crazy. Yeah? This is some real fucking Amiga ass music. Pigs! Look at our little sprite! Oh man! This looks like Final Fantasy VII. Oh boy. Oh man, this is really good. I love this. This is like the greatest game. Hello, Cannabis Nebula. What are you doing? Can I talk to this guy? He looks like a pirate. I guess not. Nobody wants to talk to Frankenstein. It's a monster. 
So much of variety in this one. Whoa. Dog? Okay. Yeah. This is like a god tier game right here, I'm thinking. I love this dog sprite, it's like a deranged face. Why did nobody- whoa, it just turned red! Why has nobody ever thought to combine point-and-click game with fighting game before? It's too bad there's no multiplayer. I wanted to see Victor and Dog meta. If only we could be so lucky. Uh, Help, get us out of here! Uh, sh I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what to do, folks. I guess that I probably could have used the chloroform on on Victor, because the chloroform's gone now. We simply don't have that anymore. Oh, Lil Zabalasa. Can we go kill everyone for EXP? Okay, there's like, we can't do anything on this screen. Blaze Blue had a visual novel mixed with fighting game for their story mode, but they do it in the laziest way possible. What do you mean? What's so lazy about it? Whoa, spiders! Do I want to avoid those? Seems like that might be kind of hard. This is super Amiga core right here. Avoid the spiders to get the potion. As you slowly shuffle around with like the slowest animation possible. Bottle filled with some liquid. Did I take any damage? Alright. This is crazy. This is like actually pretty atmospheric with the, the town, like the high angles and like the townspeople walking around and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Alright. Uh, what's this? What's this place? Oh, just the prison area that's just in the middle of the town for some reason? over here. <clears throat> I like the little Frank sprite sprite. Yeah, I do I do love it. it. Looks funny. What? General store. Is that a dog? Sleeping potion. Um I like how we had chloroform and now we have sleeping potion. What a fucking game. Where do we go from killing Victor Frankenstein? I guess to the general store. Hey, you! Get out of my shop! Uh-oh. Okay. Get lost, freak! The world is so harsh to Frankenstein's monster. Who could have imagined? Store owner's house. Okay, so we're gonna, like... Start a fire here, right? I can't seem to, like, interact with anything. Alright. Uh, yep. Let's just get out of here, then. I can't... leave? What? Okay, there we go. Most of the characters' story modes only have one option, if ever, and they all lead to an immediate game over or a slightly amusing paralogue. It might as well be a game over. And the fights in the segments are all one round and easy. Oh, that's a bummer. I was curious about the, the story mode of the Blaze Blue game, so I guess I might be better off just like reading a synopsis or something. Everyone is very accepting of the mutated freak wandering in everyone's voices. Yeah, but they really weren't. Like, they were saying, get lost, freak! kicking us out of their store. 
Whoa, you look like a fucking skeleton. I'm thirsty. Have you got anything to drink? How about sleeping potion? Alright, that works. Keys to the cells. Alright. I wish we weren't uh, quite so slow. That one frame animation from standing to song. It must be a pretty powerful sleeping potion. Who the fuck are those guys? I don't know if I... I feel those look like some guys that Frankenstein would maybe not want to tangle with. Sorry, Frankenstein's monster. Is this a city guard room? I feel like I'm going to get whacked for being in here. What? Sewage pipe? What's going on here? I can't use that here. The story presented in arcade mode was a lot better. I kind of like the arcade mode in Guilty Gear, um, Accent Core Plus R. Because it was like, a lot of the fights would start with like, some, like, canned, like, fight, like, fight animations from the, from the two characters. Go away, you hideous inbreed. Oh, it's not very nice. But it was like, uh, you know, the characters would like, do some moves and like, a little cinematic and then the fight would start. And sometimes you'd have like, reduced health and stuff. Okay. So, those people were freed. Who was that? Why did I free them? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, to distract the guard? I guess? Okay. Now I'm outside. I can go out on the road. Do I want to? Seems like there was still plenty of stuff to do in the town. Whoa, beautiful. Look at those birds. This is crazy. Okay, Augersley Forest, Germany, 1793. You were going to have to get a potion to make you sexy. I don't need that. <laughs> Ugersberg. Augersley's Forest. Yeah, this is where he lives in Frolics. Okay, we're in Forest. How have I never heard about this game before? Here's plant. That looks like a significant plant, but I can't pick it up. Sure. You find this game by chance? It's badass. Yeah, I just searched Frankenstein on CD Romance. A charm. I wonder if it is lucky. Looks like a horseshoe. Who lives here? It's like a necklace? Hot soup. My favorite. We took the entire cauldron. A lovely pearl necklace. I wonder if they are real pearls. Uh, I guess we can eat that. That soup looks green and quite putrid. How do you, like, save your game? I wonder. Um... I actually found- I think that, um... <clears throat> when I found this, it was listed as a two-pack with that horrible FMV Dracula game. Uh, the- the side-scroller. Like, I- I like the idea of Sega CD selling a two-pack of this game and that god-awful like spider and bat punching simulator based on the movie yes the dracula the dracula sega cd game there's a mushroom i can't take it i guess kind of like
like that there's all these plants, but they don't seem to do anything. Why is Frankenstein so slow? Oh, spiders. Whatever. When am I, uh, where, where am I going? <laughs> what are we, what is our objective right now? Where the people talked about that game, but not this game? I've never heard of this. There's a few people in chat who seem to recognize it, though. Oh, look, there's a squirrel. I think? It's not doing anything. It's kind of sitting there. Honestly, like, this... The sprites work strangely well with these pre-rendered backgrounds. I don't know why, but they just kind of do. This is enchanting. Okay, we're back to this screen. This forest is one big goddamn maze. Dog. Oh, we were attacked by dog. It's nothing we can't handle though. We've killed dog before. Oh, it's a wolf actually. <laughs> wolf insta jib does. little guy there. Pretty strong too. Does a lot of damage. Oh shit, I'm dead. This wolf is uh, quite a strong opponent. I don't know if I can beat that guy. Gotta level up and learn the KO can, I think. Oh, of course. Uh, maybe we gotta go find something to distract <laughs> this uh, this wolf with. Jeez Louise. Uh, that one frame charge into charge combo is nuts. I know, I love it. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Um, have we been on this screen? Hey, a skunk. Huh? Uh, it's really hard to tell, like, the relationship between all these screens in terms of, like, where they are spatially. It's just kind of every screen is just, like, a random room that is connected to other rooms. House? Barn? I don't know. B a barn. We got hedge clippers? A pair of shears. I had better be careful, they are sharp. I think that it should show like, or it should play like a little sound, like a little dong or something. It smells terrible, but it might be useful. Okay. Manure. What are the shears for? I wonder. I don't know. I couldn't get the pitchfork. <clears throat> Can I use manure? Er, I know that manure is nutritious, but I am not hungry just now. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster forced to eat manure when he was six hours old. Frankenstein's manure. Alright, we're just ambling around in the woods, I guess. What's this? Skunk. Yeah, the skunk is very cute. Hello. At least this person's not being cruel to me. 
Can I have your cabbages? I love the ambiance of these crunchy outdoors noises. Yeah, they're awesome. Good morning, what a surprise. I do not get many visitors. Your face looks like it has been sewed up. Are you all right? Yes, er, I was cut badly. You poor dear. It wasn't from fighting the outlaws, was it? They are a real nuisance around here. Er, yes it was, actually. You know, only yesterday they stole my beautiful pearl necklace. Oh, you know, does it look like this? Is this your necklace? I found it in the camp. Yes, oh, thank you so much. How are up these as a reward? Mmm, a, a freshly roasted chicken and some cookies. Mm. Alright. Mm. Mm. It's like a bird or something? We got some health back. That's nice. The old lady just left? Sure. Nice, this person isn't cruel to me. Barges into home for cookies. Well, we did return her necklace. Yum! I could go for some cookies. I've got a little piece of cake in the fridge that I'm looking forward to having later. After I finish streaming. Oh! You guys gotta bring me another cake though, okay. Whoa, look at those mushrooms. There's like... Mushrooms growing on the trees? This is crazy detailed. I have no idea where the fuck we are though. Whoa, do you see him just slide? Weird. Where the fuck am I? Burn? <laughs> Raven. Alright, so this is the initial crossroads. Which is weird because it doesn't look like the rest of the area at all. Uh, down? I don't know. Have we been on this screen before? This kind of reminds me of the, the ambiance in some parts of Secret of Evermore. Uh, they're too big to cut my toenails and there's nothing else to cut in here. I'm having good luck of my own. I'm having enough good luck of my own just now. Are you? We were killed by a wolf two times, Frankenstein. I guess we'll just try and find somewhere else to go. It's really hard to keep track of what places I have and haven't been yet. <laughs> All these areas look exactly the same. A Secret of Evermore cool? I know it's got a dog and it. it's awesome. I played it a lot when I was a kid. I was like, it was like probably one of my favorite games back then. We're back at the cottage? No, this is the barn. Um, huh. It's kind of janky and it's got some parts that really suck, but I think it's, I think it's really cool overall. Here's the skunk. I wonder if we're supposed to get sprayed by the skunk so that the dog doesn't want to, the wolf doesn't want to mess with us. Let's try just going down. How did we end up here again? A barn. So we've already been here. How did we end up at the same barn two times? Maybe the other one was a different barn. No, there's the skunk again. What? Huh? <laughs> uh, something tells me that navigating this area is not going to be a simple prospect. Let's go down. The damn stinky skunk. I do like the distance shots and him becoming a tiny sprite. Yeah, those are my favorite screens, personally. There's the squirrel again. Ugh, oh, this is hell. We're back at the fucking barn. This is crazy. How the hell am I gonna get out of here? Weird part is I wonder how you found the wolf. What do you mean? Just kind of walked around and found it somehow. Let's 
go over here again. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do except go fight the wolf. Okay. Uh, is there any reason I want to go back to town? I can't. What? I wonder if I missed anything in town. Did I ever try going down from here? I think we've already been on this screen before. Feels like the wolf is like the... The thing you gotta do to finish this section. So, the wolf was... Okay, this is the outlaw's camp. But they're not here. There's like nobody here. Can we walk off this side of the screen? Yeah? What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Did Cygnosis develop this, I wonder? This is so, like, different from what I would expect from them. Even though it's still, it has plenty of Amiga energy to it, you know? How in the fuck did I find that wolf, actually? get a little bit sleepy playing this. I think the wolf is here, like right on the flower screen with abundant flowers. I should put things back where I find them? I don't know how you're supposed to use items, like... Christ. So you take some chip damage, but that's not that bad. I love the dog getting like bounced around. Oh. Whoa, comboed. This epic music for getting killed by a wolf. I walk like this guy sometimes. <laughs> he does have wake up at 3 a.m. to the bathroom energy. Cygnosis developed. It was only sold in that bundle with the Dracula game? Really? They had, like, what the hell? Why would you, why would, like, you think this game is not strong enough to sell without being bundled with that horrible game? This, this wolf is fucking cracked. This is insane. There's a different game with the same title for other consoles with another developer? What? I found a guy that says the wolf fight is unavoidable. So I have to kill the wolf? Oh man, it's really hard. It's so active. Oh shit. Seems like this is the strat. It's just like block until it bounces on the ground and then punish with the, the headbutt. Oh no. This music is incredible. Okay, we killed the wolf. Whoa, that's a lot of blood. 
That wolf would be tier zero. <laughs> Seems fully different. It's a platformer. Weird. I have done enough harm to this noble beast. I think I should leave his corpse alone. Man. Frankenstein's monster is so cool. I just imagine the final boss to just be Victor's boat if this is just one of the bosses. Victor is already dead. We killed Victor, like, <laughs> at the very beginning of the game. He's, he's already dead. I, I think that Victor is just gone from the story now. He's now a boat. Oh, of course. <clears throat> I have already eaten this noble beast's guts and blood. I should leave it alone. What are these bugs? Those gigantic bugs. Oh. Hello. What's up, man? Is he in there hiding behind a blind old man? My son is in Ingolstadt. They all are. When he returns, he will pay the rents. I do not like to be kept waiting. I will take your pumpkins. No, they are only income. They are for special customers at the Frankenstein Mansion. Well, I will sell them there. Do not blame me. Blame your son for not paying his rent on time. Can we kill this guy? Hey, motherfucker. Are we really gonna crack his skull? Yes! <laughs> Creature versus landlord. his ass. Holy shit. Landlord's got hands. <laughs> no. Oh, we died of chip damage. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. We went to the afterlife. I will take your pumpkins. Well, we got killed. I wonder how you're supposed to save in this game. Like, we. It said this game uses internal save data or something? This is just that damn coffin thing again. So, how do you continue the game? <laughs> this game uses the Guilty Gear Guts health system. <laughs> Landlords with the BS frame data. That guy seemed pretty broken. The, the, the complexity of these fights increased pretty drastically, pretty quickly. Oh, load game. So, like, what, what is it loading? I thought this was based on that movie? Which one? How do you save your game? Huh. Maybe I'll have to like look up a uh, manual or something for this to try and figure out how to save, but I'm kind of tired. I think I'm done with streaming for the day. That was pretty cool though. I, I want to play more of this game. We're going to play more of this tomorrow. I'm fascinated by this. The, the 90s Frankenstein movie? With uh, the Megadeth song that was written for it? <laughs> Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I guess I'll try and solve some more fucking puzzles tomorrow in Steven Sausage Roll. And we'll see what we can do about Dr uh, Frankenstein. Frank Frankenstein? <clears throat> um, let's see. Let's, let's read Monday. How about... I like the menu. It gives Mr. Bones energy. <laughs> that was a good touchstone. Inquisitor Drogan is now trapped like a rat. Thank you for the follow, Inquisitor Drogan. Ah, bit crushed Keanu Death Scream. Ah. I can't believe I enjoyed a Sega CD game. Well, it's not that surprising. That other Dracula game seemed okay if it wasn't so fucking boring. Well, thanks for watching, though. Um, yeah. For suffering all those Sega CD games with me. And, um, yes. Thank you for stream once more. Yes, of course. And thank you all for watching.
I do appreciate it. It's always fun to have people laughing along at games like that horrible Dracula FMV game and everything. Uh, the one that was not like PBS style. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later, okay? Um, have a nice night. Bye-bye.